Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, in this week's video, we're going to be talking about bilge pumps. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to wire in an automatic float switch, that way your bilge pump will kick on automatically anytime your boat gets water in it. Stick around. Alright guys, like I was saying, in this week's video we're going to be talking about bilge pump wiring. Specifically, we're going to be wiring up a three-way switch that has an on, an off, and an automatic position. That way you can set your pump to kick on on its own when water level reaches a certain height, or you can kick it on manually whenever you want to. So, I've gone ahead and put together a little bit of a troubleshooting board here that's going to help us along with this wiring. Let's go ahead and head over to the workbench. We'll get everything set up and we'll show you guys how easy it is to wire up one of these float switches and maybe you'll want to put one in your own boat. All right, go ahead and note that we're going to be using a red indicator light as a stand-in for the bilge pump today. And the reason behind this is the pumps have no visible moving parts. So the light's going to stand in, show us when everything's on. And just like a pump, the light has two power connections, a positive and a ground. The ground should be run directly to the negative terminal of your battery. The pump's positive wire is what we're going to run through the three-way switch. That way we can turn it off and on. First up, we're going to connect the 12-volt positive lead to the switch's center terminal. And this lead should be fused, preferably near the positive battery terminal. Next, we'll connect one side of the automatic float switch to the toggle switch. Since the automatic position is up, we're going to connect the wire to the bottom terminal. Then we're going to connect the manual position wire to the switch's top terminal. This will allow us to turn on the pump when the switch is set to the manual position. Crimp one side of a butt splice connector onto the pump's positive wire. You'll want to use a heat shrink butt splice connector to prevent water intrusion. Now twist the manual wire to the other wire coming from the float switch. Insert both of these wires into the butt splice connector and crimp. Use heat to seal everything up. And now that we have everything wired together, our switch and our float switch, we're ready to test our connections, see if our pump will turn on. All right, I've gone ahead and connected the positive and negatives to the bench power supply. And we're gonna to wanna to put the switch in the manual position. When we do so, the pump should turn on. With the switch in the auto position, the pump should not turn on because the float switch has not been lifted and it also won't function if it's in the vertical position. Now we'll go ahead and put the board horizontal to test everything out. Switch is in the auto position, so we'll lift the float switch. Water rises, pump turns on, drops, it goes out. And like I said, guys, the float switch, when you mount it in your boat, have that in the horizontal position. That way it can lift and float like it's supposed to. You'll be good to go. All right, guys, there you have it. Three-way switch wiring that allows us to manually turn on the bilge pump, but it also allows us to flip to the automatic mode where if we did happen to get some water in the hull of the boat, that float switch would lift up, it would engage the pump automatically, pump the water out, and when the water level gets back down, it go ahead and shut the pump off. Guys, I'll put a link to the circuit diagram for this project in the description of this video if you'd like to go over and check that out if you're wiring up your own bilge pump you'll be able to follow along with that get it wired up exactly the same way i've done it in this video guys if this video has helped you out please take a moment give it that thumbs up if you're new to the channel checking me out for the first time guys i try to post a video every saturday that covers a fishing or boating related tip or trick 
So hit that subscribe button and a little bell. That way you don't miss a video. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. Take care. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Thank you.